without in, without international exposure. My, you know, I'm ignorant. Too. I remember. When we consider the role of higher education in the United States today, we really have to consider that it is our responsibility to teach and to learn about the world from an international perspective. International student without a global lens, my education does not make sense. I think international context and education is important because diversity in a student's background is very important. To me, college is learning about the world around you and about yourself. And I really think to be able to do that, you would have to learn from other cultures and places to understand the world you live in. So if you teach them what all these other cultures are all about, people can be more informed. You know, it brings a level of diversity. People, it can balance each other out instead of knowing about just one culture. You're, you have this wealth of knowledge about an entire, like, in a global standpoint. Uh, we know that it's no longer possible to think in isolation of the United States of America separately from the rest of the world. And by the rest of the world, I mean not just Europe, but also Africa and Asia and the Middle East. Well, working with some of our corporate clients, you see more and more the need for employees that can work from a global perspective. And especially the state of Pennsylvania being so rural and students coming from such small school districts, they need that bridge through international education at the undergrad level so that they can compete and communicate you know, on a, on a global basis, whether through different language or understanding different cultures or different norms or uh, just different career paths internationally. So this is where I would see this as a great importance. I'm studying Latin American Studies and Economics. I chose Latin American Studies because I believe it will enhance my ability and perspective in the field. I also enjoy being exposed to different cultures and I believe uh, learning a new language will help in communicating with people from other worlds and other countries. Teaching your national theme is integral to student success because it provides them with a competitive edge in the global marketplace and locally as the diverse companies come to our area it makes the students more aware of the perspectives of all cultures. Including international perspectives in our classes is especially important because our students really do come from all over the world including Afghanistan, Albania, Bosnia, Brazil, Canada, China, Colombia, Croatia, Ecuador, Egypt, England, Germany, Greece, Haiti, Hong Kong, India, Iran, Ireland, Italy, Jamaica, Kenya, Lebanon, Mexico, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Norway, Pakistan, Poland, El Salvador, Scotland, Syria, Taiwan, Tanzania, Turkey, Ukraine, Venezuela, and Vietnam. We are intricately bound to these places. So in our classes, we need to bring to our students and from ourselves a greater understanding of the people, the issues, and the geography of the international scene. International education cultivates real-world citizens who see answers to sustaining our living world and are ready to act upon them. Where does Guatemala stand today, like economically, socially, politically? Particularly American psychology has been dominated by a perspective that's limited to a sort of white or European American point of view, which has been fine as long as you look at Americans. The problem has been that we have assumed in psychology that our findings here apply to all peoples everywhere. And that, of course, is not true. And Psychology as a field has come to accept that misconception. And as a result, we have <clears throat> been trying to almost reinvent ourselves, to re-examine our theories, concepts, even the variables that we study in light of other cultures and how. And I'm taking multicultural psychology here at Penn State. And I'm really glad I took this class because it's opened my eyes to how important ethnocentrism has affected lives across cultures. Learning about the Scandinavian countries' education system has helped me better understand the American education system. Without international perspective, I think you have um, you don't have much to compare. So, for example, with uh, 
when I teach early reading to my elementary education majors, I teach them how uh, about the different approaches to early to teaching early reading by teaching them how to decode text using the Greek alphabet. That way, they experience firsthand what it means to learn how to read through a phonics perspective or through a whole language perspective. And that's just one way that having an international perspective becomes a vital part of my curriculum.